So this is one that I've been excited to check out. I talked about it a little bit on Lou Later. I wanna have my own take with it. I wanna spend my own time with it. We've seen all types of different approaches to uh, earphones, earbuds. Once we got fully wireless, then we got noise canceling, then we got pass-through audio to hear ambient sound. That's kind of where this product comes in. It's uh, Link Buds from Sony. They have this really unusual design with a ring that passes sound through to you, ambient sound, your surroundings, while you're also listening to something. Now, my experience in the past is that that comes with some drawbacks, but there are some benefits there as well. Multitask, do two things at once. Hear their surroundings and listen to some kind of content. So you can't really compare it just to a standard earbud because it kind of is targeting something a little bit different. And so I'll just hover over top here. Link your worlds. Their whole marketing is linking the worlds. They're called the link buds. And by linking the worlds, here's what they mean. You have the real world and then you have your digital world. They're claiming to link the two of them. Real world, digital world, hence the name. And the name is easier than to say and remember than a lot of other Sony product names. Oh, and the other thing I should note is if you were to look at this and say, well, this is Sony's attempt at AirPods. Not really, they make fully wireless earbuds as well and they're also really good. So this is an extra product category that's important to note. Oh, and we are now in the AR experience. And I can go down here like this and look inside the box. And there's like a record player. This is cool, it's like a digital, they're linking the worlds. Worlds are being linked. So I tap. What key are they talking about? Key they talking about? Is there a key somewhere over here? Oh. Okay, so I pull this part out. Press continue when the box is open. Okay, and now I'm gonna scan the next part. Oh, holy. <laughs> this is uh, quite the elaborate unboxing experience they've put together here. You are close to unlocking a new realm of perception. Keep unboxing to find your product beneath. This has got to be one of the most elaborate unboxing experiences ever. And, and I feel like I might um, have some experience in the field. You don't say. <laughs> you don't say. Oh, it's getting like pixelated. What do I do? Oh, is this an NFT? Is that what's going on here? Wow, that is a cool little like piece of art, digital art. Hi from Sony. We're so excited about Link Buds. Perfect for the WFH lifestyle. Work from home. There you go. Mmm. <laughs> the brain still works. It's still. Somebody else was yelling it long before I was, but with the editing of the video. It's gonna seem. Here, reaching forward here, they're saying, hey, imagine all the things you could do. So that is a pretty cool package. Yeah, it's gotta be one of the most interesting unboxing videos. And it's because of the effort they put into the unboxing experience. Gotta admit that I appreciate that. White and gray. I guess we'll do the white model. Sure, why not? Now this is a more typical utilitarian Sony experience. 5.5 hours plus 12 hours of playtime. Obviously you have your battery case for the recharge, made for iPhone, also iPod, in case you still got one of those. Alexa's built in, and so is Google Assistant. Ooh, it's very small. Very small little package. Smooth to the touch. Now, I know fit is also very important here. Some people have tried this on, they've made videos, and they've said, I can't get this thing to sound anywhere near where I would need it to be. Well, apparently, fit is gonna be key when it comes to uh, making this thing work the way that it's intended. So I'll be playing around with fit for a little bit. Look at the, wow. Are you seeing that? 
That's very efficient and effective what they've done there. It's very Sony is how I would describe it. So we have these little ear tips, ear hooks. And look at this, you see what I'm saying as far as fit being important? Small, medium, large, different uh, options in here so that you can get the best fit and therefore the best performance. Get it right, get it tight. USB type C to USB type A, USB old, USB regular, and very short. And then look at the little tray with the paperwork and documentation as well. There's a button on the front, so it's a locking. Is it a locking? Oh God. It is a locking. So it's gonna stay shut in your pocket, but they're not flying out, which can happen mm -hmm. with different cases. You see the orange LED on the front uh, indicates charging. Type C on the back, and this is probably for uh, linking up via software. They've already got a little ear hook on there. Look at how weird those little guys are. Very interesting. So you have this round portion, which is gonna sit kinda in your ear, sort of. This section is what's gonna go in the ear canal and produce your audio. And you can see the little donut hole in the center there. That's what's what allows you to link your two worlds. Another Sony favorite is the red identifier and the R for your right earbud and the gray L identifier for your left earbud. Utilitarian is the word. So I'm assuming these are gonna go into pairing mode right away. Let me play around with this fit, as I mentioned. Mm, right, very different. I believe that's what they intend. Goes under the cartilage. Okay, now I do not feel shut off from the world at all. They're incredibly comfortable, and I am one of these people that after a certain amount of time, if I'm wearing an earbud, I do get the canal fatigue. As it stands right now, this is stupid lightweight, and I can still hear myself, I can hear my own voice. I'm sure I could hear Mo. Mo, he, Mo just said testing. All right, look at this, we're in. Step one, wear it correctly, you idiot. Check the L and R, got it. Shake your head slightly, yet. Yeah, not going nada. Voice assistant, I'm not worried about right now. This always works well. Okay, Google, I just triggered everybody. Oh, you do tap, but not the bud. You tap in front of the bud here, wide area tap. A very strange thing. You're tapping your own face and it's capable of uh, recognizing that. Yeah. Yeah, triple tap. Oh, very responsive, very responsive. I'll take it. Now you also have an equalizer over here. There's uh, your own custom settings as well as bright, excited, mellow, relaxed. Vocal, treble boost, bass boost, speech, manual, etc. So lots of options for tuning the sound. I think music with a lot of bass is gonna be more trouble because bass really benefits from having like a sealed environment to create pressure, Mo. I immediately go to max volume. I'm like, wait a second, it's gotta be louder, right? I mean, I know it's a different thing, but can I get some volume, I mean? I might have to head to that equalizer right away. Oh. I mean, you can work to it. Like you can hear it. You can work to it. It's not like, there's no pump, no pound. I got to goof with this. See what I can do. Max. Max. And I think I definitely, Needs to be going with one of these bigger nubs. Go ahead, talk to me, Mo. Uh, I'm gonna go watch the Batman movie this weekend. I'm gonna go watch the Batman movie this weekend. I heard that it was good. Somebody thinks it's good. Somebody's mad and somebody thinks it's good. Welcome to the internet, 2022. I could get into it, I don't know. I actually feel like a guy like Mo is the perfect target for this. If you're working alone, you don't wanna be shut off completely. Especially if you're in like a big space, it's kind of weird. Like you want to hear your surroundings a little bit. Anything happens, something terrifying, you need to be know as soon as possible. So you need your worlds to be linked. These are like earbuds that have transparency mode turned on all the time. Probably there's some kind of battery benefits to that type of design if you're a user who was, you know, always had transparency mode enabled because you liked being connected. I can imagine someone who works in like, uh, um, I don't know, some kind of like warehouse, some kind of distribution, sorting, uh, or actually even in a, like a sort of co-working space or a, like a design firm, 
uh, an office place that's not crazy loud that you're trying to drown everything out, but you want to listen to something and still be able to say, yeah, go ahead. Hey, yeah, what's up? Like hear the door open or something. I, there are circumstances where this is the right product for the application. However, you have crazy popularity around products like Apple's AirPods. And even though the AirPods Pro came out and it sealed you off a little bit more and you probably wouldn't have transparency mode enabled at all times, the more popular AirPods don't really seal you off that much anyway. And I'm not gonna hear quite as well as I do here with these, but with uh, music that's not that loud on a typical pair of AirPods, you're gonna still hear your surroundings for the most part. Maybe not quite as clearly, but you're gonna hear your surroundings. They don't look as cool as this though. They definitely didn't come in a box as cool as this one. And, and the app doesn't have quite as much configuration in it as these do, but I enjoy the idea of having these alternate products to serve this purpose. And like I said, if you were looking for the most kind of connected pair of headphones where you could still uh, be aware of your surroundings, then uh, these are gonna be tough to beat because they are better than the bone conduction headphones. They're better than the ones that sit in front with the headband that goes around. It, uh, those are just a little bit bulkier and actually a little bit buzzier, a little bit tinnier. These do sound like headphones, but they're not gonna blow you away. They're not gonna punch you in the face. They're not gonna give you that kind of thickness that you uh, are getting from other earbuds, earphones, headphones. So that's something to consider right away. I think they would be good as well for spoken stuff like audiobooks and things like that, where you're kind of listening, podcasts obviously, where you're listening while you're washing the dishes. I'm creating all the scenarios here. And, uh, and like I said, you wanna stay connected. That's really what this product is about. It's about staying uh, connected. So that's the, that's the Link Buds from Sony. Uh, check them out if that's exactly what you've been looking for. Maybe this is exactly what you've been looking for. The most connected to the world type of earbud. You're the type of person that you gotta have the earbud all the time. Oh, I should also mention, I should also mention those that do a lot of conferencing throughout the day. They put the W, F, H, work from home. In there, if you're a work from home type and you're constantly on and off of calls, that's another one where this is kind of cool because it's so minimal and so lightweight that you might not want to wear uh, an AirPod the whole day. You might be able to get away with this being in there the whole day because like I said, you hear everything. You've got the microphone built in, so you're also taking calls and doing all that. But anyway, yes. Link Buds from Sony. It's something a bit different. Mo, you recently got into the investments, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Exciting stuff, isn't it? It is. Taking uh, control of your future, aren't you? Optimize your wealth. Well, listen to this. Today's sponsor, I think you're going to be interested. Uh, this video has been brought to you by Wealthfront. Wealthfront is an investing app that offers personalized and globally diversified investment portfolios. Their automated investment management makes it easy to set and forget your investments but you can also take the wheel when you want to. And I know you like to take the wheel every so often, Mo. Do a little bit of research, mm -hmm. don't you? Yeah. For better, for worse, you like to play the game to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. But for those that prefer something that's a little bit more hands-off, they can, of course, do that as well. Getting started is simple. Just download the app or visit the website. Answer a few basic questions and Wealthfront will recommend a diversified and automated portfolio that's personalized for you all in less than five minutes. You can edit your investments or allocations easily at any time while exploring hundreds of funds across categories like clean energy, healthcare, and technology, just to name a few. And each fund has been vetted by their research team so you can build the portfolio you're excited about without spending hours researching or stressing about what to invest in. I don't want to see you stress, Mo. Just tell me the best. Just tell me where- I don't want to see you uh, show up in here. You're shaking. You're frantic. All right? Take the advice. Right now, you can get started with as little as $500, and the first $5,000 in your account is managed for free, for life. Check the link down in the description. It's wealthfront.com slash unbox. Thank you to Wealthfront for sponsoring this episode.